You said we should look out further I guess it wouldn't hurt us We don't have to be around all these coffee shops Now we've got that percolator Never made a latte greater I'm saving $23 a week We drive to a house in Preston We see police arresting A man with his hand in a bag How's that for first impressions? This place seems depressing It's a Californian bungalow in a cul-de-sac It's got a lovely garden A garage for two cars to park in Or a lot of room for storage if you've just got one And it's going pretty cheap, you say? Well, it's a deceased estate Aren't the press metal ceilings great? Then I see the handrail in the shower A collection of those canisters for coffee, tea and flour And a photo of a young man in a van in Vietnam And I can't think of floorboards anymore Whether the front room faces south or north And I wonder what she bought it for This is um, every young singer-songwriter's dream. So you put together an album of the songs that you really love, that mean a lot to you. It's independently produced, you just whack it out there. And it goes global and it's a huge success. How do you, how do you account for that? Um, yeah, I, 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 feel, I feel very happy about it, you know, and I'm, I'm really proud of the album that we made, number one, so that's, that's kind of the most important thing. Our next guest is one of my favourite new artists. I love her so much. Here to perform Depressed and All the Way from Australia, please welcome Courtney Barnett. Are you compelled to write? I mean, is that something you just have to do on a daily basis? Yeah, I kind of... Um, it's, it's, it's just my way of, um, you know, communicating and, and working through ideas and understanding myself and the world around me, so, yeah, I guess I have to. Has music always been a big part of your life, <laughs> from as young as you can remember? Uh, yeah, I, I was always keen on music and I, I started playing guitar pretty young and... How old were you? Uh, I, I think I was, a, I was about ten, maybe a little bit younger, but I think when I finally bugged mum and dad to, to get me lessons. I was about 10. 
but yeah, they they always listen to um, to music at home. And what was the musical influence at home? Um, it was it was mostly jazz and classical from mum and dad. Mm -hmm. um, and then my older brother kind of you know had some some um, some rock records and stuff. That early stuff that you, your older siblings have at home, it's, it's so crucial, isn't it? It's yeah. A, it also sort of becomes the bedrock of your taste, almost whether you, whether you like it or not. Yeah, yeah, it's good. And, and it's just, you know, it's interesting discovering music in, in different ways and at different times in your life. Tell us about the experience of being so successful in a huge market like the United States and of course that's come with guest appearances on Ellen DeGeneres and Jimmy Fallon and the like. What did that feel like? Um, it feels, um, it's kind of, it's a bit surreal I guess, kind of going um, across the other side of the world and um, you know, for a little Australian kid. <laughs> it, it, it looks like a big deal. I mean, those shows are incredibly well produced. They're, you know, enormously well resourced. Does it feel like you're really on Broadway when you're performing in a situation like that? Um, yeah, it, it just, you know, it feels funny. It's, 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 <laughs> TV studios are funny places. Tell me about it. <laughs> Here we are in one of the, one of the weirdest. Um, and, uh, and a great response from, from those incredibly high profile people. They, they kind of immediately became your, your backers and supporters, didn't they? Yeah, well it's, it's nice to know that people connect with the, with the music and the lyrics. Now you've got big shoes to fill here because we've had your partner Jen Cloer on the program only recently. We're huge fans of, uh, of her, wonderful Australian singer-songwriter. So you've got to have to be as, at least as good or better than your girlfriend. <laughs> she taught me everything I know. <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> Are you competitive? Um, no, I don't think so. Oh, probably, yeah. Yeah, probably. Like, How, I'm, I'm going to play better than her today. Of, it goes without saying. <laughs> no, I think we, you know, we, we um, encourage each other. Um, you know, to, to kind of do more and try try more creative things and stuff. So And you have a little independent label together, Milk as well. Mm -hmm. how, how does that work? Um, Milk Records is it's kind of artist run in a way. Um, the there's a couple of um, local Melbourne bands on it and um, the musicians all we all chip in to, to do the work. So we um we, we post out our, our own CDs and and um and and normally the artwork is kind of done in house as well and so it's it's good. It's a little, you know, platform for us to create create from.